I'm quite excited. Okay, all about recycling your party wear from the holiday party time from 2018. So if you want to see the rest, definitely keep on watching. Uh. <laughs> Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video today. One video of the week, and today was gonna be a little bit special because I was actually looking at my everything that I bought for anything related to Christmas and New Year's Eve. Be really smart to kind of use it again for anything daytime, casual, chic ish, and you don't know what to do with it, right? Today is gonna be a great way to show you what I did with that. I'm gonna show you five outfits based on these five pieces. So let's get to it the first thing that i'm going to show you it's going to be this little nice see-through fishnet top however you want to call it i showed you that in one of my hauls a couple of weeks ago i believe really in love with it so many ways to style it there's so many ways to use it a way to style it in a way where you can go out party and everything around there's gonna be another more way for you to go to have some drinks what i did here was to add my cheetah print dress from top shop and you're gonna see it right now really really smart for me why because super open dress and really flowy which i love a lot you know me and i love the cut of it and i'm not necessarily the most confused person when it comes to anything too revealing to be honest not because i feel like there's nothing to show just because I feel naked <laughs> well such a great idea in a way where if you're like me if you feel like me where everything to revealing you're not necessarily comfortable in but you still want to keep it sexy and sensual and you the main truth here is that you still want to wear your dress I want to keep it but I want to be able to style it in a way where I'm gonna be happy to wear it and happy to style it and happy to feel good in it not feel like it's not me it goes back to how I like to twist our things and this is a way of course it's not the main way it's not the only way it's clearly my way of me to show you what you can do with some stuff that you're not too sure about I had my quote top of it because I thought again was really matchy matchy but it was a shade a little bit lighter which I love a bit if you live in Canada you want to wear a Canadian winter coats like the way I dress could be really not that warm especially if you're watching this video from Canada because I live in Canada so I expect some people to actually watch it from here as well it's gonna look fabulous on you the so. second piece that I love and really is this velvet rich nice great velvet from Zara and wear it to go to any party and it was clearly from the holiday new year's eve type of moment here great vest great blazer that you can still wear during the day the way that i did it used it to actually style my white dress i like to call this dress my snow white dress don't even ask the question here i wouldn't ask the question if i were you so yeah this one is a basic it's a classic for me i've had it for years now Some of my lookbooks i always always find a way to just include it in there you can do a lot with it so you can either make it much more rock more edgy you can leave it like that because it's not going to be really cute and elegant or you can just add it of the white it's a basic neutral color so on top of it you can add anything you want any color you want even play with texture like i say all the time and i love doing as well not only to add a nice shade of purple but texture wise because of the velvet it makes it so much more rich interesting to the eyes so much more appealing to the eyes i put it with my white boots it's a really great option you can again here top it off with the canadian winter coat because it's gonna be too cold and have some tight the thing that you want to invest because you don't want to die out of cold <laughs> it's pretty much that it was a really great way to combine simple colors basic colors but not doing much in if you don't want to wear it because it's just not your thing that's all fine but if you don't want to wear it because you think that it's something from the past where i'm like no maybe you should give it a try and you never know you might be really amazingly surprised by what you can find. The third thing that I'm gonna show you is gonna be dark. Really really gorgeous one. Recently bought it from Zara. Could make it a bit match for the day. Still gonna be a different way 
to do it, but it's not gonna be a wig. <laughs> what I did with that was simply to add on my latest skirt from Vero Moda that I've had for centuries now. A great way to make it cute, make it super edgy over the knee butts because it's still sexy and that's something that you can wear to go to a dead event. Nice event with your friends or just nice events in general. It's gonna be worth like wearing it again. Winter, I don't know, like everything white just brings so much more light. So definitely suggest it. But for the eyes, to be honest, because it's all sequined. So top it off with my um, blazer and I believe that was gonna turn it down a little bit here. But mixing classic formal with something much more sexy, much more cute or much more rock in general keeps the balance and keeps it even more interesting because it's unexpected and you're not even playing much with the colors here you're really playing a lot more with the style of every type of piece that you combine together it's a really great formula for me that's another way to stay away from colors if you don't want the colors something and else that you can do is to actually pair that up with a tuxedo pant I believe this one would be a, such a good option to wear it with you kind of get away with it without having to have the impression that you do too much and even top it off with a biker jacket and have something much more warmer on top of the biker jacket. Layering it up as much and like that, it's really gonna give an interesting, an interesting visual appeal again. And so the other option that I have for this outfit was my blazer from Zara. Actually make it a little bit more lighter instead of having everything black and black. If it's too black and white, it gives that kind of formal, but of course with the sequin not as much, but if you want to keep it a little bit more lighter, Take the blazer, alternative for you. And the details on the pocket for me, I love this blazer, let's move on. <laughs> the other thing that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this blazer from Topshop. Oh, it was gonna be versatile for me after everything party wear. Paired with a jeans color, but because of the texture, because of the velvety of it, it gives a luxurious and really rich, intense yellow. I love it. I just love it. Jean, it's really, again, here, turn it down a little bit and keeps the balance here. In the middle, I had my green turtleneck. It's really complementing its color to the yellow. It's a really a great way to just like play with colors but have them complement each other even more yet having it a little bit more subtle. So the result, I love the boots. My black boots with the metallic details the hint of the gold with the metallic effect. It just brings a little bit more details to the outfit. You don't have to do it well to actually chain it up a little bit with my chain from Topshop. Love this chain a bit more for people but you can get rid of the shine. You love accentuating my waist area so that's what I did that. You can leave it loose like that. It's gonna look amazing and you can even like an accessory a hat or a scarf it's not gonna bring much more funkiness to the outfit. I think recommend it definitely suggest it. The last thing that I'm gonna show it's gonna be pants. So here what I did I bought them from Topshop obviously. Add my black turtleneck with the golden details. I top it off with my aviator jacket. If you live in Canada you don't have to wear the aviator jacket. You can wear the Canadian coat. That's gonna be cool. What you can do is to have tights underneath the pants because it's a bit wide so no nobody is gonna notice it so that's a really good key for you here love doing it like that again here is a good balance because going on you have a good balance you have some details that actually reminds you of the chic a little bit still it's like in the middle ground you kept it a little bit more subtle you kept it subtle you kept it like really nice really interesting really intriguing but you just kept it you kept it subtle you know this girl she knows what she's doing she knows what she's doing nobody was gonna do that like you so you killed it you killed the vibe so yeah pretty much that always always keep it interesting to the eyes this is the key here this is the key to everything when it comes to fashion and dressing up a little bit you know fashionista but you know you don't push it too much i believe i don't push it too much I think maybe we'll see <laughs> that was pretty much it for this video today i hope you enjoyed it let me know how you cycle your own party wear and if you do use your party wear a little bit more having to just like 
put something once and just keep it like in the back of my closet because I think it's, it's a waste of space because you can really try to wear more and more my own clothing before having to buy anything else. I kind of get an impulsive way of buying all the time. Think about everything that I wear and just being smarter at it. So this is a way for you to show you that every clothing that you buy you can use it a lot of ways. Before getting to the buying part or the purchasing part, always think about how many times you're gonna wear it. Like something, if you like a piece, for example, color, you like to cut, you like to style, it's okay. If you can't think about more than two ways or just more than one way to actually style it, maybe it's not the piece that you need in your closet right now. It doesn't mean that you will never need that, it just means that for the moment, maybe you don't need it as much. Think that maybe when you're gonna go back, it's gonna be unavailable. I need a try at home. And actually, it's a good way for me to just do it. Buy it first because it's like impulsive, so I just do it. I try it with everything that I already own. And if I see that it actually just doesn't work, well, sayonara. Ciao, hasta la vista, bye. <laughs> I have way too many stuff that I actually don't wear as much. It's the time for a change here. It's time to think smarter and to shop smarter. It's gonna be my way of styling. It's gonna be more than one way of styling if I can. I'm gonna stop it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. I hope it was really useful for you. Share with me whatever you want to recycle. You can think about styling it and if you don't let me know I'm always here to help thing is down below social media is down below to reach me so I'm gonna show you on my next video next week probably most likely and I wish you a really 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 great weekend enjoy your family enjoy your friends and of course like I say all the time smile because it's free and contagious <laughs> bye